Ian, you mentioned David Peralta, Bob, and David was the hero last night, but really he's been at the forefront of this Diamondbacks resurgence so far this year. Yeah, he really has. I mean, after the first 10 games of the season when he really struggled, the entire offense struggled early in the season, but uh, David Peralta was one of the first guys to snap out of that early season slump. You see a 182 average with only one extra base hit in 10 games. He had two extra base hits in the ball game last night. That long home run, double into the gap in right center, but the biggest hit of the game was that little ground ball that snuck through the right side for the game winner. Now he's up against a very good pitcher, as they talked about on the pregame show. Frankie Montas goes for the A's, and Luke Weaver is on the mound for the Diamondbacks here this afternoon. And the question, as we take a look at the offense here, you look at the top National League batting leaders, and how about that? Three Diamondbacks in the top seven. That has to be reassuring to a pitcher taking the mound uh, in front of the Diamondbacks. Starling Marte, David Peralta, Cattell Marte, all ranked among the league leaders. Now the question for Luke Weaver will be, how long can he go in the ball game? Remember, he has had trouble getting through that fourth inning, and the feeling might be if he can just do it once, we might be free and clear here. Well, we've seen Luke Weaver when he's been at his best, able to pitch deep into the ball game and pretty much command a game. But this season, uh, whether it's a mental issue, whether physically he tires in that fourth inning, certainly it would help him if he could keep his pitch count down in the first three to give him an opportunity to pitch that fourth inning. But up against a very good Oakland lineup today. Much more when we come back to Diamondbacks and the Athletics. Time to celebrate. Let's go for the perfect homestay. And your Diamondbacks starting pitcher presented by Nissan is the right-hander Luke Weaver. Something of a mystery to this point. Four innings is the longest he's gone in a start this year. Yeah, Luke uh, looking to right the ship 0-3 with an ERA over 12 going into play today. Uh, if you want something to hang your hat on, Luke Weaver beat these Oakland A's for his first major league win back in the 2016 season at Bush Stadium pitching for the Cardinals. So maybe he'll have good memories of facing the green and gold and show his best here today. Up against one of the best lineups in the major leagues, the A's, despite their loss last night, have still won 13 of their last 16. And here is the batting order for Bob Melvin's Athletics, brought to you by your Valley Chevy dealers. Marcus Simeon, the shortstop, will lead it off, followed by Ramon Laureano just off his suspension. He'll be out in center field. Matt Olson at first, Matt Chapman at third. Got to watch those two. Mark Canna serves as the designated hitter this afternoon. Robbie Grossman in left field. Steven Piscotti will play right. Tony Kemp at second base and Sean Murphy doing the catching today for the A's. E.D. Marshall Jewelers now gives us a look around the diamond at the D-back defense. Last night's hero, one of last night's heroes, David Peralta, not playing left field. Excuse me, he's DHing. Dalton Varsho is in left field. Starling Marte out in center. Cole Calhoun in right. Jake Lamb getting a start at third base this afternoon. Nick Ahmed and Eduardo Escobar make up the double play combo today with Christian Walker at first. Stephen Vogt catching right-hander Luke Weaver. And a uh, very different look to Torrey Lovello's lineup this afternoon. We'll have that for you coming up after this half inning. As the shortstop, Marcus Simeon leads it off. He backs lineup. Cole Calhoun will lead it off. Made that nice running catch in right field. Stephen Vogt moves up to the two spot. He'll be catching today. Starling Marte out in center. David Peralta, the designated hitter. Christian Walker at first base. Eduardo Escobar slides over to second base this afternoon. Nick Ahmed at shortstop. Jake Lamb getting a start at third base. And Dalton Varsho out in left field. All behind right-hander Luke Weaver. Right-hander Frankie Montas is uh, your... Athletics starting to buy Nissan, 27-year-old right-hander who has held the opposition at two or fewer runs in all four starts this year. Old Calhoun knocks one into the gap on the first pitch he sees. That's going to get to the wall. Bobby Grossman in left field. Ramon Mariano out in center. Steven Piscotti in right field. One of the mats, Matt Chapman with two gold gloves, two platinum gloves at third base. Marcus Simeon, Tony Kemp make up the double play combo. The other Matt Olson at first base with two gold gloves. Sean Murphy doing the catching today and right-hander Frankie Montas on the mound. First two D-backs hitter.